What's going on guys, Danny here and in this video I want to answer a question that I have on Facebook. Um, it says, hi Danny, I'm new in your YouTube channel. Welcome man, I hope you like and enjoy what you see here. Um, I want to know if you could make a video showing what hero should I choose in a game. I have seen many people wait till other team have already chosen their heroes and then they pick. Well, that's pretty simple man. Why do people wait? Um, many people wait. There, there are two, many, two main reasons uh, that people wait. First is because uh, people want to counter pick the enemy heroes or people want to not get counter picked, right? Um, also there are two more reasons. Uh, one of them is funny, that happens to me sometimes. Uh, it's because I don't know what to play, right? I just don't know what to play. Or other reason is uh, because people is AFK. But that's stupid, I'm not gonna talk about that, right? Um, now, counter picking is important. Uh, in general, waiting to, to pick your hero is very important. You should always wait and never first pick because, because I'm gonna tell you the perfect example. If I join a game, I'll pick a game, right? And I want to play Ricky, this, the stealth assassin, and I pick it right after the game uh, loads like first pick the enemy is waiting and they are gonna counter pick me right they are gonna pick bounty hunter or slarder uh, that use their ot on me Our and if if they out. see me with ricky i am useless right if i play ricky and the enemy see me what can i do nothing i cannot backstep uh, i cannot ambush you know nothing i can do I cannot go and smoke, so counter picking is very nice. Um, and it's the same thing to not get counter picked. Uh, now I enter a game and I want to play Ricky. The same case, okay? Um, I'm gonna wait until like 20 seconds or 30 seconds before the game starts. And when my enemy has already picked their heroes, uh, you know, sometimes people say random and they random bounty hunter well i'm fucked i cannot play ricky as much as i want i'm not gonna play because i'm gonna fail if they if they see me in invis so yep it's very important to wait uh, keep that in mind and be very smart choosing your hero now what hero exactly should you choose that's up to you man um you should decide what hero can you choose I can tell you for sure that every team needs one carry, two supports, or one support depending if he, he wants to do a full support, buy, buy wards, smokes, courier, everything, and not have gold even for boots or something to get more HP. Or you can get two supports and uh, you know one of them buy wards, the other one buy smokes. Uh, for Our ganks and by courier upgrade the courier you know and the other one is buying only wards so two supports more most of the times I see in games uh, I already said carry one mid lane hero very important um, hard laning heroes and jungles some some pe sometimes people just pick a jungle hero and go in the jungle and uh, leave only one hero on the hard lane now let's i'm gonna show you some examples um hard carry heroes uh anti mage phantom lancer naga siren throw water ward very strong hard carry hero um you have here specter one of the best hard carry heroes in this game uh mordred other of the best hard carry heroes um you know mirana can be used as a hard carry hero um, this Faceless Void is other of the best hard carry heroes in the game. Hard carry heroes are gonna farm 25 to 30 minutes 
and they and then they are gonna join the game, join the team fights, and completely destroy the enemy, right? Just do a rampage or something like that because you have big items in 30 minutes, like two or three big items, depending if you have been s farming all the time or you have been harassed or I don't know. So that's about hard carry. Uh, hard carry heroes can be very easily out um, counterpicked in early game only in early game because if I want to play faceless void um, I'm gonna pick faceless void and the enemy is gonna pick disables right they are gonna pick lion that can stun me he can hex me shadow shaman can hex me uh, he can shackle me for four seconds I don't know that's too many disables the enemy is gonna pick and gonna use on me in early game but in late game I'm with faceless void and I have BKB what can they do? nothing lion cannot stun me he cannot you know he cannot um, hex me he can ulti me but it's not gonna do any damage because I have BKB so that's a big counter for faceless void or other hard carry heroes on early only in early game now examples of supports there is um, hard support that can be used like I told you before only one support in team and buy wards courier smoke everything uh, this is this can be uh, crystal maiden which is also gonna give your team um, mana aura, you know, to regen mana very fast. Um, Keeper of the Light is very good support oh, hero because he can TP you when you are about to die or something like that and do the blast wave and save you or kill the enemy or something like that. Um, then you have here Lich is a very good support uh, Lion, as I told you before, very good support hero with a lot of disables. Shadow Demon is very good support hero. Um, what else? Rubik can be a very good support hero. Uh, Shadow Shaman and Ogre Mage support heroes. There are just many support heroes, you know. Um, Lina also is a support hero. Tind Hunter, I did not say that. Tind Hunter. And then here you have Witch Doctor, many support heroes in this game, guys. Um, now, mid lane heroes. Many examples of mid lane heroes. There is Weaver that can be used, not usually, but sometimes it can be a good mid hero. Viper on the mid lane is okay. Bloodseeker is one of the best heroes for mid lane. Uh, Patch and SF. What you most see is patch and sf right on the mid lane here is patch and sf uh, big counter to sf is this hero skyrat mage because you can harass sf um, very much with your spell that is very low cooldown um, and you know silence him so he cannot use raises um, you have more range then SF, um, you know, your ultimate is very nice because when you see SF ca casting his ulti, he needs two or three seconds, right, to use the ulti. You can use the Skyrat Mage ulti and that is gonna kill the SF because SF has very low HP. And this hero ultimate, he it does so much damage. Yeah, if I think about that, it's crazy. It's not like... 600 on level 1, I don't know, something like that, but you have to move from that, right? Um, count Big counter to patch. Uh, Blood Seeker is a good counter to patch, or tiny, or any melee hero that cannot get hooked very easy, because um, if you play SF, uh, patch is gonna kill you very easily because he can hook you Our and he's strength hero he has many more HP than you and he's gonna kill you very easily uh, you know if he plays good um, now offlaning heroes offlaning heroes there is Mirana 
um, Windrunner and Darkseer. This is for me the best offlaning heroes and Weaver. Weaver. This is the best offlaning heroes for me. Uh, also, Brute Mother is good offlaning hero. Uh, with offlane hero, wow, I'm getting destroyed here by creeps. <laughs> I have been talking this half an hour game what the fuck 29 minutes um, let's get back uh, offlaning hero I mean if you play sentinel this is offlane hero for you if you play scorch this is offlane hero for you oh right Bec also this is cause uh, called hard hard lane offlane and long lane because it's very long right all these three names means the same this lane if you play the sentinel um that's that's because um oh your God, tower is here oh. it's not here right now but you should the tower should be here the first one and the creeps start fighting here so you can get very very easily ganked if the supports enemy supports walk like here they can gank you here if you get stunned you are dead right um, they can walk like this and go behind you and gank you right or if the enemy mid lane wants to gank he he's gonna walk like this if you don't have wards here you are not gonna see him he's gonna go like here oh, here and then go from behind to you and you are dead again so why is Windrunner good offlaning hero? Um, because of the Windrun spell, it's very obvious, right? Uh, you put you you put Windrun, that's the third spell, and oh, the enemy is gonna miss you for four seconds or five seconds, I don't remember. Um, the enemy is gonna miss you, and if they are melee heroes and they get close to you, they are gonna be slowed. Uh, Dark Seer, you can speed up yourself and escape very easily. Uh, Mirana, you can just leap away and escape very easily. Um, you have, you know, you have to be very careful anyway in the start of the game to not get ganked. Um, other example, okay, Weaver. Weaver can use Shukuchi and escape very easily. You know, you can use Shukuchi and go like this. Uh, here, hide somewhere and the enemy supports don't see you on unless they have sentry wards or dust or something that is gonna see you, right? Um, now, I didn't talk about mid laning heroes. Uh, this is also called ganking heroes. Um, this is Mirana, is very nice hero. Um, they have early spells that are gonna do a lot of damage. Like Mirana Starfall, Arrow is gonna do a lot of damage, like 300, 350, the Arrow on level 4. If you get that, if you get level 7 in 7 minutes, you are gonna be ready to start ganking and killing, right? Because you are killer, you are ganker. Um, you know, Mirana is very good, SF, he has three raises that they can do 300 damage each, uh, Patch, level 7, is gonna have level 4 hook, which is gonna do a lot, a lot of damage, so much damage, and then you have the OT, this member, which is one of the best OTs in the game, it, ha it can hold you in position, like stun, and you cannot move and on top of that is gonna do damage right and there are many other heroes uh, that can go on the mid lane uh, now junglers the last thing I gonna, I'm gonna talk junglers are axe you know it's also called initiate hero or tank heroes you can go axe uh, because with axe you need to go uh, Doombreaker can be a very good, you know, initiate hero. Uh, Nikes can be a hard carry hero, I forgot to say that. Yeah, there are many heroes in this game, more than 100. Uh, uh, Baratrum is very nice oh, ganking nice hero. If you get that charge very early into the game and you start charging the enemy, uh, Sand King is very good support. But let's get back to the tanks. 
Um, Bristol back. Where is the Bristol back? I don't. I don't even know. I don't play that hero. Okay, he's here. Our Bristol back is very good. Um, tank hero. Uh, tank heroes are supposed to go first. Um, Clockwork is very good. Uh, they are supposed to go first and eat the spells, you know, just bite the spells from the enemy. Uh, because if, if I go in with Axe, I have Blink Dagger, okay, let's imagine I am Axe and I have Blink Dagger. I just blink in and use my uh, Berserker Skull, everyone is gonna attack me, right? That's Initiation and I am tanking them, that's tanking Hero or Initiate Hero. Uh, let's see if I can tell you one more example about this because okay send tower is very good initiate hero um, there are I forget to speak about roaming heroes you can go roaming um, not only support a lane Earthshaker is the best hero uh, with vengeful spirit vengeful spirit and Earthshaker are the best heroes for <coughs> um, you know roaming because you go on the map and do a very long stun that is gonna block the enemy for example you can block uh, the, the enemy mid hero if you are playing here you can block the enemy mid hero here so he cannot go back and your your mid lane is gonna kill him very easily um, you know you can use vengeful spirit that has long range from of stun that can stun the enemy and he cannot escape ogre mage is good ganking hero because of the range stun uh, you know you have lion that can be using hex or something like that and last thing i'm gonna talk is i think jungle heroes yeah you can go jungle heroes like lycan you are just with Lycan, you are just gonna farm the jungle. Um, you cannot really gank. Uh, you know, if you go um, Lifestealer or Axe in the jungle or Ursa Warrior, you can gank. And not only can, you should be ganking. You better gank because your team is gonna flame you very hard if you don't. Uh, not only for that, you should be ganking because you have slow, you have uh, this battle hunger that is a little bit, a lot of harassment actually, not a little bit. And other, <coughs> you know, Lycan, you just sit in the jungle and farm the jungle. Uh, Ursa Warrior can gank, but it's better to farm the jungle. Um, Troll Warward can go jungle and farm the jungle. Um, many other heroes. Uh, Sand Tower can go jungle, you know, and that's about it. Um, I don't know if it's long or not, but I hope I answered your question. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Have fun playing Dota.